I'd like you to see movies in a theater. They look grander. And face it, you and I both need to get off the couch. They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. But if your multiplex has Guardians of the Galaxy on 10 screens and you don't have grown-up friendly theaters nearby, you have access to first-run, in-theaters-now movies at the touch, well, several touches, and a credit card of remote. There are more than ever because they're a viable market for studios. Precisely 74% of you shall die. Take the bloody, insane action picture Snowpiercer, which someone deemed too long and weird for a big release, but has been boffo on demand. It's Korean director Bong Joon-ho's look at a frozen world where the only survivors ride a huge looping train, and the have-nots in the back, led by Chris Evans, storm the fascist guards and Richies in the front car by crazy car. It's like a stoned, lefty version of the Poseidon adventure. Now smile. Equally as stoned is a movie not yet in theaters that will stretch your mind like taffy. Ari Folman's The Congress. Half live, half animated, half based on Stanislav Lem's pioneering dystopian novel about a world where it's preferable to live in a state of druggy cartoon bliss than real squalor. We at Marymount want to, want to scan you. It begins with the terrific Robin Wright as an actress named Robin Wright, great casting, who takes money so her image can be digitized and reused in movies for eternity. Then it gets really weird. Two more, less bloody but just as multiplex unfriendly. Cheers. To a perfect weekend together. The one I love is a farce of sorts about a couple played by Mark Duplass and Mad Men's Elizabeth Moss who take a country house to repair their marriage and meet up with themselves. It was kind of magical. Or copies who act the way they wish each other would act. It's a what the bloody hell comedy with a surprisingly bitter kick. And Moss is one of my new neurotic dream girls. Another one is Anna Kendrick, who stars in Joe Swanberg's teeny psychodrama, Happy Christmas. Jenny? I'm fine. As an inept child woman who moves into the house of her brother, played by Swanberg, and his wife, played by Melanie Linsky, and by her presence opens up vast fissures in their lives. Your Aunt Jenny's in trouble, dude. Can you say trouble? Trouble. Trouble. It's minimalist with maximum emotional heft. Okay, and a suggestion. I put the remote in the next room. If I take away the element of control, I pay closer attention. And most of us are too lazy to get off the couch.